right onto North Main Street. Morning, welcome to Rest and Rack. I'm Church. I'm currently driving through the Utah desert from Kanab to Midway to Utah's most unique dive site, the Crater. So it's currently 22 degrees outside and local time is 345. So since I don't have a battle buddy, I'm battle buddy. Since I don't have a dive buddy, I hired a dive guide and the only dive guide they had available was at 9 a.m. check in this way. A little backstory on the crater. The crater is actually a caldera heated by a natural geothermal hot spring. The spring pumps about 135,000 gallons of water per day, keeping the water about 90 degrees year round. The rock dome overhead was created by thousands of years of sediment buildup from the mineral rich water. The water used to spill out through the hole in the ceiling until the late 1890s when the drain was bored into the side of the dome, lowering the water to the level it is today. Back then, visitors to the site repelled down into the warm water. Then in 1996, the tunnel, which you saw me enter earlier, was blasted to allow easier access to the water. All right, the crater, also known as Homestead Crater. Been there, done that, got the t-shirt. Let's talk dive site characteristics. Temperature, this is gonna be obvious to most of you, but it's hot. I think the hottest I saw it was 92 degrees at the bottom and 90 degrees at the surface. The temperature is the number one claim to fame for this dive site because you can dive it year round in next to nothing and still be burning up hot. Hey, I just want to take another look at you. Maximum depth. The center bottom was exactly 65 feet deep. Visibility. Okay, so the water clarity is actually very clear, but the thing about this dive site is since it's in a, um, cenote if you will the only source of light is a tiny little hole in the ceiling of the room that the dive site is in so very little light can penetrate i would say a flashlight's not required but i do recommend taking it. ecology so there's nothing alive in this dive site if there were fish in this hole i'm sure they're looking like unique features my favorite unique feature to this dive site is at the very bottom, at 65 feet towards the center, there's a fence. And right next to the fence, you're gonna see the thermal vents that feed the water into the crater. It's really weird because it looks almost like the sand is boiling. Naturally, I couldn't help myself. I had to stick my hand into it. Also, the dive site's at 6,000 feet elevation, so this is an altitude dive. So set your computers and decompression times accordingly. Online resources. They built a whole resort around the crater. The resort website offers a whole list of details on the dive site, including prices. The crater also has its own Wikipedia page where you can find even more details about this caldera. Oh, wow. Would you look at that? So the entrance fee is $25 and the dive guide was $25. So it came to be about 50 then towards 60 after tax. It's a little cheaper for me since I didn't have to rent gear, as you can see in the back here. I will say this, if you're gonna rent gear, this is the place to rent it because you don't need any type of exposure system. I mean, you can just throw on your personal swim trunks, just a t-shirt, a rash guard of sorts, and then you're good to dive. These other dive sites that have you rent out wetsuits, never rent a wetsuit. These rental wetsuits have been caressed by more nasty asses than a truck stop toilet seat. All right, how do I rate this dive? The crater. I'm going to give it mm, three stars. And here's why. It's a very unique dive site. I love unique dive sites. Here's the thing though. There's not a lot to do down there. If there was more stuff to see, that would definitely be a plus, but I know they cater more for swimmers than they do scuba divers, so I kind of get where they're coming from. Also, 
the thing that makes it unique, the temperature, is also a little bit of a downside in my opinion. Being 97 degrees, it's almost too hot. I'm no stranger to sweating inside of a dry suit, but sweating inside of a rash guard and swim trunks, and that water while it feels all nice and toasty whenever you're in it, whenever you get out. Whew. Just got out of there. Water was amazing, but being out here, it's probably not even that cold, but that transition. That said, I still strongly recommend if you are in the Utah area, that dive is like no other. Definitely get out there and do it. It's worth the price. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like content like this, be sure to like, share, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so you never miss a new video. Tune in next time whenever I propel down that hole into this cave. What? I'm just kidding. Or am I? <laughs> Had to stop and get a little taste of North Carolina. <laughs>